Good afternoon everyone, I know Talk Like a Pirate Day has been and gone already, but I just can't stop thinking about plunder, saltwater and rum. So today I've decided we're going to take a look at the pirate map from Terraria. The pirate map is exactly what the name says it to be, a map with directions on it that is used by pirates to seek out treasure. It has a very small chance of being held by creatures residing close to the ocean, and the guide has noted that he has previously spotted a pirate map floating in the open water, but a shark ate it before he was able to retrieve it. Its appearance is faded and somewhat tattered, implying that the map is quite old, however its origins are never actually made clear. The primary function of the pirate map is simply to summon forth the pirate clans in order to battle them for their loot, and although there is generally no greater information beyond that, it can be speculated how the pirate map came to be, why the pirates want it so much, and what it may actually lead to. The legends of Terraria consider that the map may have been created by the Great Old One Cthulhu. Upon his arrival to Terraria, in an effort to sway control over the pirates inhabiting the oceans he would come to dwell in, it is thought by some that he promised great riches to the pirates so long as they worked for a time under him. And with the pirates being cautious types, not willing to trust anyone without the burden of proof, Cthulhu created the maps to provide evidence that he knew the location of the greatest treasure they would ever have encountered. Upon the demise of the Cosmic God, the pirates had not yet received their reward, so it's thought that the pirates may have begun furiously searching for these maps, aggressively pursuing any rumour of one, and destroying anyone or anything that may have gotten in their way. The questions of exactly what the treasure may have been, and where it was, still remain. However, even legends do not have suitable answers to these just yet, so the mystery continues. It could be that the treasure is simply contained on some remote island, and is indeed just a large amount of plunder that would satiate even a pirate's considerable greed. Given that this greed is typically thought to be quite literally limitless, the idea of just a large amount of gold and jewels becomes somewhat unlikely. There is the consideration that the map is endless, a sadistic ploy by the Great Old One to have the pirates searching forever for something that can never be found. But there are also more outlandish ideas, such as that the treasure, if you want to call it that, is an illusion, a fantasy that the pirates will be trapped in to keep them out of the way, which would fulfil each and every one of their extensive and depraved desires. There is even word of a pirate who followed the map to its destination and was subjected to such a fantasy, only to escape after some considerable time with the desire to fight the cosmic gods invading Terraria and prevent his brethren from being enthralled by such a lie. While the speculation of such an item can be interesting, there is still no hard evidence to suggest that the pirate map has any relation to any of these ideas, and it's quite simply just an old piece of parchment that the pirates are searching for, for some unknown reason. Without ruling out the possibility that it could be something more though, the pirate map has been given an artifact rating of noteworthy. So, given that we've talked about the limitless greed of pirate clans, I have to ask you all, just how much plunder would be enough for you? All the gold in Fort Knox, or just a PS5? While you think over that, be sure to subscribe for more course content, and become a Patreon or channel member to give that little bit of extra support to the lecture series. I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you next time.